And we welcome you in another edition of Around the Horn presented by Coca-Cola with West Virginia baseball coach Randy Mazie. I'm Jeff Colhane and coach here we are again at Monongalia County Ballpark. That opening weekend, a lot of fun. Weekend sweep, nearly 7,000 fans came out. What did that opening weekend here and in introducing this brand new ballpark mean to you as a coach and what do you think it meant to your players as well to be a part of the festivities? You know, I think it means the same thing to a lot of different people. It's just an entirely new era in West Virginia baseball. You know, we're trying to be a top 25 program and uh, be careful what you ask for because mm -hmm. here comes the facility that's got to be in the top mm -hmm. 10 or 15 in the nation. So uh, I think everything's in place now. You know, once we get this entire place finished, uh, it's obviously a beautiful ballpark. We're just talking about the best view in mm -hmm. all of college baseball. Yeah. And, uh, you know, from a recruiting standpoint, from a community standpoint, administration, I think we, uh, to steal a term from my sport, I think we hit this one out of the park. Yeah, fantastic. The postcard for West Virginia. Great, great view in the background. There's no doubt about it. One of the guys that played well for you, you had a lot of guys that played well last weekend, but Casey Huff really hit the baseball well. Nine of 13, named Co Big 12 Newcomer of the Week. I know he's progressed, he's come along, he's bouncing back from injury. What, if, what stood out to you about how he's continuing to improve, get better, and, and play the way he needs to play at this level? You know, when we recruit kids, we always say, if you can find a really good athlete with a really good work ethic, it's always gonna work out. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what he is, he's tremendously athletic. You can see him doing back handsprings on yeah. his way onto the field. And he's got tremendous work ethic. Uh, he loves to win, he loves to compete, and over time, those guys will win. Mm -hmm. And it's taken him a little time because of some injuries, but, but he's at the point now where I think he's injury free and he's free to do some things, and, and uh, his athleticism is starting to show. The Oklahoma Sooners in town this weekend. They're tied for first in the Big 12 Conference with a record of eight and four, 6.05 on Friday, 4.05 Saturday, 11 a.m. A first pitch on Sunday with uh, some of the travel issues where the boys getting back to Norman. Let's talk about the challenge. Oklahoma got some bats in the lineup and some pretty good front end pitching as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a reason why they're first in the conference. Yeah. They can really, really pitch. They can really, really hit. Uh, and that poses some problems. You know, right. the opposing team is really good in those two areas. So uh, we're going to have to play really, really well to have a chance to win some games this weekend. Uh, we can't. We can't not make any mistakes. You know, if we do, we're gonna, uh, they can throw runs up in a hurry. If we don't have a good hitting approach, uh, they're gonna throw zeros up one right after the next. So we've really, really gotta be sharp this weekend. And uh, if we got a chance to win some games. BJ Myers back for you on Friday night. He's pitched well out of the pen. I know you're looking for a few of these freshmen. It's a tough role coming in on Friday night in the Big 12 Conference, but I know you need them to step up for your guys to have a chance to win on that first night. Yeah, you know, if anybody can do it, I think BJ can do it. He's got a history in high school pitching in big games. Mm -hmm. He threw the first game of the season this year, and we shut Clemson out. So I don't think the atmosphere or these guys in the other dugout are going to bother him at all. He knows a lot of these kids. There are a lot of Texas kids on Oklahoma's mm -hmm. team. So uh, I, I think he's I think he's ready for it. I feel really good about him going out on the mound. And if he can just keep us in it in the sixth or seventh inning, uh, give us a chance to win the game in the last couple innings. That's all we can ask. Coach, thanks for the time. We'll see you this weekend. Okay, thanks, yep. Jeff. Comments of the head coach, Randy Mazey, West Virginia, Oklahoma, here at Monongalia County Ballpark. And this has been another edition of the Round the Horn, presented by Coca-Cola.